Morning, everybody. Um, we're going to make raspberry thumbprint cookies today. I um, was going to make the divinity, but our humidity is at like 96% and you have to have 50 to 60% humidity. So it won't set up. So I had to kind of switch around. So we're going to make raspberry thumbprint cookies. Um, what you're going to need is a cup of unsalted butter, softened to room temp, a third cup of sugar, a third cup of brown sugar, a large egg yolk, three quarter teaspoons of vanilla, two and a half cups of, or two and a quarter cups of all purpose flour, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. And those two items will be mixed together. And then a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of sugar for rolling and about a third cup of jam or preserves. So the first thing you need to do is clean the butter and your sugars. I'll get you over here. And I hope my mixer will work. I was trying the Divinity last night and my mixer got really, really hot. So I hope I didn't burn it out. Okay, start with your butter and put it in your mixer, soften. And this is also when you get done, it has to go into the freezer for about a half hour just to chill it. Okay, okay you need a third cup of brown sugar and white sugar. And firmly pack your brown sugar. And you're going to cream this. And be sure you scrape your sides. I'll be right back. Okay, once this is creamed, you're gonna add one egg yolk and three fourths teaspoon of vanilla. And mix this up. And I do have the recipe for the vanilla extract down below in one of my videos. It's a lot cheaper to make this than to buy a little jar for like $8.99 at the store. So get this mixed up and I'll be right back. Okay, once you have that all set, you're gonna put in a bowl two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour
And then you need two teaspoons of cornstarch. So cornstarch. a teaspoon of salt but I use a salted butter so I'm not going to add the salt so start adding this start at slow and um get your flour all in and I'll be back. Okay, once it's all mixed together, um, just get yourself some plastic wrap or a little plastic bag and you're gonna put your dough in and put it in the freezer for about a half hour. You just want it to chill. I hope I can make the divinity this weekend. It's such a southern treat. And it just wouldn't set up. I had too much humidity in the house. And So um, just take your dough and scoop it on your plastic. Try to form it into a ball. And just put it in your freezer for a half hour. And when that's ready, I'll be back. Okay, once your dough has been frozen for about or chilled for about a half hour, set your oven to 375. Get some preserve. I just use seedless red raspberry preserve. And get yourself a bowl of sugar. And you're gonna make about a one inch ball.
about like that. And then roll it in your sugar. Now you can either use um, a teaspoon or your thumb, but just place it down. And take your spoon and just press it down. And then just take your teaspoon. Probably want like a half. You don't want it to go over. Just fill it up. So again, just roll it. And then roll it in your sugar. And put it down. And just make a thumbprint. And then just fix your sides a little. And then take a little preserve. And fill your top. Okay. You want these about two inches apart and then they'll go in the 375 oven for about 11 to 14 minutes. So I'll get these done and then I'll be back. Okay, so roll them. Cover them good with sugar. Put them on your cookie sheet and go straight down. Don't go sideways. Go straight down and you'll get a nice little dip. And then just fill that in. With the preserves. And now put these in the oven for 11 to 14 minutes at 375 and then start your next cookie sheet but here they are I set my timer for about 12 minutes, so I'll come back and check it at like 11, see where we are. And uh, just start your next cookie sheet and I'll be back. Okay, I'm at 12 minutes. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. I got my next tray to go and I'll be back. Okay, as soon as the buzzer goes off, you're gonna put these on a rack and you need to let them cool so your jam will set up again. I have 23 seconds. I'll be back. Alrighty, and I got this much left. 
So just uh, start another cookie sheet. Get your one inch ball, roll it in sugar. And place it on your cookie sheet and straight down. Push your thumb in and I'll be back. Okay, so that's how your cookie looks. I'm gonna take a bite, but probably not into the jam because it's still very hot. Mm. Very good. Mm. Well, thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back later on with um, shortbread cookies. Um, I'm going to be using an embossing um, rolling pin. and um, Or you don't need to use that. You can just use a, uh, a cookie cutter. That was bargy. And um, then I will uh, see y'all later. Have a good day.